Meanwhile, the UTSA basketball team is back on the court getting ready for its upcoming season. And as Evan Klosky reports, it's a year unlike any other for the sport. I think they're just so, so appreciative. They understand um, that there's a lot of teams that have not even started practice yet. They, they understand a lot of teams have been shut down. Uh, they're very, very excited to be on the court. The UTSA basketball team is well aware of the challenges coming up with the new season. Some things aren't going to be fair. You know, we, we anticipate we're going to play somebody and we may have somebody out. We're going to play somebody. They may have somebody out. The schedule's going to get shifted. We understand that everything's not going to go as it usually goes. You know, we can't do the same things that we usually do. So we expect to just, you know, embrace that and, you know, make do with what we got. One of the key changes is the Conference USA schedule. To limit travel, squads will play two games against the same opponent in the same gym. Ultimately, every coach, when we were on those meetings, every coach said we want to play. Whatever gives us the best chance to play games. We just got to stay safe, honestly. Once, once we do fly out there and stuff like that, I just hope everything, everything goes out safe and smoothly. And if the season goes sideways, that's okay. The NCAA has allowed all players to have a free year of eligibility. <laughs> It might be by technicality, but Javon Jackson could very well break Pete Maravich's 50-year record for the most points scored in a collegiate career if he takes advantage of this one-time deal. I think that's a blessing for not just me, you know, and, and uh, it's a blessing for everybody around the country, you know. If I'm not satisfied with the season and, and how things go after, hey, I'm, I might be back for sure. So a lot has changed and will change for UTSA, but the goal remains the same win more games. You know, last year we came up a little short. Um, we expect to do more. That's what we've been preaching in practice, do more. With the Roadrunners, Evan Klosky, Ken's Five Sports. Now the runners are expecting to kick off their schedule on November 25th.